This past week we saw the Australian Central Bank keep rates, interest rates steady at 3.6%. However, the Bank of New Zealand surprised everyone where they raised their rates by 50 basis point. So we're going to analyze the Aussie New Zealand dollar. If the rates of the New Zealand dollar are going higher and the Aussie rates are steady, then when you look at the Aussie New Zealand pair, think of the New Zealand dollar being in the uh, denominator. And if that's getting larger, then price should go down. Now, I know this is an ugly looking chart. However, let's bring some clarity to what's going on. I'm going to take off these trend lines. I think I did a previous video that served its purpose. Let's zoom in to the daily chart. So I think in my previous email, excuse me, rather video, I was looking for price to retrace to the 1.095. That did not happen. I had a short-term target at 1.07500, which it hit. I think I had this orange zone here because that was daily demand. As you can see, we did get a reaction. But when you have a downtrend line, if you go long, you have to expect those, you have to pick your targets fairly close. I prefer to trade with the trend and as you can see if you was able to get on here it just continues to move down all right so I'm going to take and the reason why I had these as short-term targets is you had previous support resistance support so I can take these off as well now you can see that my RSI is trending down below 50 anything below 50 you can assume that the trend or the price action is going to continue to go down anything above 50 you can assume that uh, the trend or the price action is going to go up here's a nice example when it was above 50 you can see this uptrend another example here when it's below 50 you can see the downtrend and price action um, etc etc all right so I'm going to take this off we're going to keep this here as price never got back to this level um, so it is still valid I'm going to remove these arrows and we're going to assess uh, things from here I'm going to zoom back out to the monthly zone um, just to see kind of where we're at um, so when I look at the monthly zone you can see where price stopped going lower and where did it reverse or you can see that this was support same thing on the top side you can see where price stopped going higher and started going lower or you can say that this was resistance not sure why I had that marked off there but I'm gonna clean this chart up a little bit more Okay, uh, so what was the purpose of these yellow lines? Uh, maybe that this was considered the um, sideway price action, or you can say that this in here is if price is at equilibrium where there are equal buyers and sellers. Down here, you, the buyers outweigh the sellers. Up here, the sellers outweigh the buyers. So these yellow zones are. Um, considered imbalances between the buyers and sellers which is why price came down buyers brought it up up here price came up sellers brought it down okay so this is where current price is um, this wick represents buying pressure uh, one two three 
um, this leg up the origin was down here so even though you have buying pressure right here potentially price can get back down to these uh, below the bottom of the wick um, so I'm going to zoom in again I'm going to go to the weekly first um, and you kind of see you have selling pressure on the weekly which is why price was not able to get back up to the zone here before continuing down I'm looking at current price down and to the left uh, this might be nothing here alright so let's go down to the daily chart you might have something here just want to see what's to the left of the yellow line nothing of interest alright so I'm gonna go back over here I'm gonna go down to the four hour chart I still don't see anything here okay um, just want to go over don't see much okay so I'm gonna go back to the daily chart and being that price close below these wicks price can continue to move down uh, we're gonna pick the next target right at 105 5 where you have what was previously support uh, but this might be an area where buyers stepped in alright so I'm gonna go zoom into the 4 hour chart once again just to show you the potential setup um, I'll make that aqua all right I'm not in love with this setup because I don't like all the sideway price action to the left of this area here but uh, we are in a downtrend I also don't necessarily like trading on the 4 hour chart unless the setup is very clear ok let's go to the daily now uh, you can say price did break out of this range so um, typically on a breakout you have a retest before resuming in the direction of the trend so let's see what happens fundamentally um, money's going to go to the New Zealand dollar because that's going to give you a higher rate of return versus the Australian dollar which kept its rates at 3.6 I think the Australian uh, New Zealand dollar might be at 4.5 percent not sure um, but right now the trend on this pair is down look for the next target to be at 1.055 thanks for watching subscribe please like the video.